Giuliani has already been found liable. This trial was just to determine damages, which ultimately came to $148 million. <laughs> and he finally didn't help himself by showing no contrition and actually repeating his claims outside court on Monday. <laughs> just watch as his spokesman tries to shut him down. I told the truth. They, they were engaged in changing votes. There's no proof of that. Oh, you're damn right there is. Stay tuned. <laughs> so Rudy Giuliani, you see today as the same man who cleaned up the streets of New York, took down the mafia. Stipulation is in proof. And constantly, let's go. We're going to our car. Wow. There is so much there that is pathetic. That man is desperately trying to coast off the guy that Giuliani was 20 years ago. It's the rare attempt to weekend at Bernie someone who is still alive. <laughs> also, he bailed on that defence mid-sentence. Yeah, I was going to get to 9-11, but this has been a disaster. Just get in the f car, Rudy. <laughs> Former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani has been ordered to pay $148 million in damages for his role in defaming two 2020 election workers. An eight-person jury decided on the final amount after a four-day civil trial that saw Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shea Moss testify that lies spread by Giuliani after the election led to them receiving a wave of racist and violent threats. Giuliani, along with the former president, Trump, and others, repeatedly amplified false conspiracy theories that Freeman and Moss were trying to change ballots in Georgia. During the course of the trial, Giuliani admitted these claims were untrue. Freeman spoke to reporters after the trial on Friday. Today's a good day. A jury stood witness to what Rudy Giuliani did to me and my daughter and held him accountable, and for that I'm thankful. For now, I want people to understand this. Money will never solve all of my problems. I can never move back into the house that I called home. I will always have to be careful about where I go and who I choose to share my name with. I miss my home, I miss my neighbors, and I miss my name. I'm going to say something. My God. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, Giuliani had a statement. Uh, okay. and, and what? Take it down. Well, what's <laughs> what's, what, he says the, the amount is absurd. What's no, absurd is that soon after the election, after Rudy Giuliani spread that lie, people that I know from all over the country that supported Donald Trump were saying, did you see what happened in Georgia? Did you see what happened with the votes? Did you see those two black women, what they did with the votes? They took the votes out of a box? Like, that happened because of Rudy Giuliani. And that lie was spread Trump. all over the country. And Donald Trump, all over the country. And their lives, as they knew it, effectively ended that day. Two election workers. Think about Two the people election just workers. serving the community. Let's bring in former U.S. attorney and MSNBC contributor Chuck Rosenberg. Chuck, when you look at this outcome, what are the implications for other cases for Donald Trump? And I think the question everybody asks is, will Rudy Giuliani ever have to pay a dime of anything to anybody? Or how does he actually truly experience accountability here? Yeah, you know, that's a great question, Mika. So the jurors' verdict, right, the $75 million in punitive damages sends a very clear signal to anybody inclined to do what Mr. Giuliani did, not to do it. I mean, what he did was vile. What he did was egregiously wrong and dangerous. I don't know that he has the money to pay. I think the odds of uh, Ms. Freeman and Ms. Moss getting $148 million are about $148 million to one. It's very unlikely to happen. They may get something. They certainly deserve it. And their reputation. But what's the harmed. impact on Rudy Giuliani's life moving forward? What's the impact on his life after this verdict? You know, he's a broken man, Joe. Uh, you know, and, and I've never really... Um, enjoyed, you know, this whole thing of schadenfreude, you know, taking delight in the misery of others. That, that That's not my thing. So what happens to him? 
The implications of a civil verdict pale in comparison to the implications of a criminal verdict against him. Remember, he's still um, uh, under indictment in Georgia. There's still a chance that he gets convicted and goes to jail. The implications for him there are much more severe and much more significant than they are here. Does he ever have to pay money to these two good women? I hope so. Will it be $148 million? Not a chance. Uh, but the implications for him in other matters that he faces are incredibly significant. He could go to jail. Yeah. Uh, Reverend Al, uh, this is obviously a case uh, you know a good bit about and followed it closely. Uh, what's your reaction to a verdict? And again, this is not about schadenfreude. This is about a man who destroyed two women's lives because they wanted to serve their country. A man and still defaming he, them. He ruined, and he ruined their lives, and he continues to defame them even today. He, he ruined their lives because he saw them as uh, collateral damage to his political ends, and he saw them as worthless. I think what the verdict uh, and the amount that the jury gave is to show they're not worthless. Whether they ever get $148 million or not, the value of their lives has been affirmed by this jury, and that's important. And, and we must remember, mm -hmm. Rudy Giuliani and I fought, never got along, were ant antithetical, uh, all of his morality. But I hate to see anyone that was the U.S. attorney of the most celebrated district in the country and the mayor of the city of New York for eight years, Kim America's mayor, fall like this because it damages our perception of what those officers hold. So even though I dislike a lot of what Rudy Giuliani stood for and, and, and the like, it is not good for us to have people that had reached that level to fall like this. Be, the reason he was believed is because of the positions he held. He took a, a stellar background and position and dumped on these innocent women that he felt was defenseless, just like we fought over issues like stop and frisk. He felt people didn't matter. This verdict said people do matter, and you can't use them as pawns for your political objectives. So I think that's the significance of it. But I, I, I agree with Chuck. I don't think we ought to celebrate the demise of Rudy Giuliani. We ought to celebrate that people's worth has been underscored by this jury. No one is expendable. Yeah.